welcome back so i wanted to share what i found at the goodwill outlet today but before i even start yes my hair is wet because i just took a shower and i don't like to wash my hair too much and i don't like to really put a lot of heat on it but i only had about an hour window to do this video so yes it does look a little wet i wanted to share what i found at the goodwill outlet today and if you're not familiar with the goodwill outlet system not every state has one in the u.s but Basically, it's where Goodwill products go after they've been in the store about a month. So they'll stay in the store for about a month. They'll try to sell them at whatever price they price it at. And then if it doesn't sell based on the tag color, they ship it off to the Goodwill outlet. Now, a Goodwill outlet, in my experience, I've been to about four or five now in about three different cities. It's just big bins with tons of stuff and you just sort through everything and most of them are by the pound. When I lived in the Boston area, the Boston one is by piece but you can find like really amazing designer things so it's still really really cheap. The ones here in Austin are by pound. I think it's like a dollar forty nine a pound so it is not expensive at all and you end up finding a really amazing things. now. I do want to say that prior to the whole Marie Kondo Netflix series, I didn't really find a ton of stuff at the Goodwill outlet. Like I would go there, spend maybe an hour, find like five to ten things. But now that everyone's cleaning out their closets, I'm finding amazing stuff. Nothing, you know, like super, super high end, but things that would probably, you know, I could list on eBay for at least $20 to $50, I'd say. Now, I do want to say I do sell on eBay, Depop, Poshmark, and Etsy. And most of the stuff I get is to sell, but some things I keep for myself because why not? I have to look good too. So I want to share the stuff that I found to sell and the stuff I want to keep for myself. What I'm not going to be talking about in this video is like what I'm going to price it at. Everything I got, I would hope to make at least a $20 net profit on net. That's like after fees and shipping and everything. But I think it's a little misleading to say I would sell these for X or like, you know, $100 or $50. Uh, and also, you know, sometimes clothes could take up to like a year or more to sell, especially on eBay. So I don't want anyone to get the impression that you could like turn around and make this money right away. Clothing is a really long tail item. So I don't want to give the impression that like you could go to the Goodwill outlet, buy something that you think might be like crazy expensive and list it and immediately make your profit back. Like that's not really how it works. So I'm not going to be talking about that in this video. If you are interested in a video where I talk about how I price things, let me know and I'll go over that. So I'm just going to go through literally my pile of clothes. Usually when I get home from the outlet, I put everything outside first because you know, when you go to the outlet, you don't really know what's in those bins. I've never seen anything too crazy, but it's better safe than sorry. Anyway, so I put them outside first and now they're just here in a big pile. It was about $30 of clothes, so I think that equated to 23 pounds. First one I pulled out are these plus size, not really denim, but like chambray uh, cotton pants. I just thought they were really cute and I see a lot of people wearing now like a 90s style and then also this like, I don't know what you call this waist. I should probably figure that out. But it's like an elastic waistband and the waist is kind of ruched. Also, I'm not going to be talking too much about what's going to do well on what platform. So I feel like that's kind of outside of the haul mentality. just want to talk about what I got and be excited and talk about why I was excited. Okay, so I found this vintage 90s safari dress shirt. And I just really like the print. I thought it was super cute. It just has like elephants and zebras and cheetahs. And I just really like that. The next thing I got was this... It's like a lizard sweatshirt that's kind of like tie-dye print. And it's also probably vintage 90s. And I just thought that was funny as well. One of my favorite things to find, just because it reminds me of like when I was a teenager and it makes me really happy. Like I really love to find express and limited clothing like from the 90s or early 2000s. So this was a limited cropped sweater crochet uh, I just thought it was really really well made it was made in Hong Kong so it was probably made in the late 90s and it just has like this tie in the front I just I thought it was really darling because you just don't make stuff like this anymore like it's really really good quality next shirt I found and I just thought that this was really funny in Austin we have this restaurant chain called Chewy's I, th I think it's other places now but it says taco cat spelled backwards is always taco cat <laughs> it has this funny little taco cat print i just thought that was hilarious the perfect shirt by j crew always sells really well for me i don't really buy anything that if i i don't think if i don't personally like it i'm not gonna buy it because i want my store to be like 
what I like and what I think is cool and what I hope other people like too but this is one of the items I just really like the print on it it's these little cute little flower print and the perfect shirt by J. Crew is just a fitted dress shirt but it's really nice and it's a very popular style I think it's nice for wear to work or you know if you want to do something other than wear to work you could do that too this one I got because I thought it was funny it's just a denim top with all this crazy mirror stuff on it and it is definitely very 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 90s I just thought it was so fun and when I saw it I was like I can't believe this is here I just think it's so funny it has shoulder pads it's not really a jacket. I mean, I guess you could wear it as a jacket, but it's more of like a shirt. Now, excuse my ignorance. I think this is a Grateful Dead shirt. It says, maintain your brain, Steamboat, Colorado. And then it's a, I think it's a Grateful Dead skull, isn't it? Anyway, I just thought it was a cool t-shirt. So that's why I picked it up. It's in okay condition, but a lot of times with vintage t-shirts, people will buy them anyway so I just look for ones that are cool and that I like and that I think will sell so this other one is uh, Oxford University sweatshirt and it's vintage um, I just sold a St. Andrews sweater so this was kind of the same style I just think this is really cool it's like crew neck super soft it's 50 50 so that's 50% polyester and 50% cotton I think the emblem is pretty cool um, it does have some pelling but I just disclose that and then, you know, let people decide if they want to buy it or not. This other sweater that I got is very light knit. It's uh, knitted, this brand knitted and knotted, I think. It's sold at Anthropology. It's very nice, very well made. So I usually don't sell things in sets just because I've heard they do well when you lot up things or make things sets and sell them. But I've just never tried it before. But I found these two extra small uh, Victoria's Secret camisoles. There's the first one. And then here's the second one. And uh, they aren't quite vintage because they're made in China. But the reason why I like them is because they're 100% silk, which is really cool. And I think they look pretty well made. And they're the same cut and the same style. So I'm thinking that if someone is into this style and they're an extra small, they could buy both of them and we'll see how it goes I might do a little test where I just see if I can sell them as a lot and then see how it goes I always really love to find Christmas sweaters and this one is vintage from Talbot's probably from the 90s I love picking up Christmas sweaters all year round because they sell really well if you sell to it's made in Hong Kong so it's probably like the late 90s or mid 90s if you sell to like Buffalo Exchange they're always Mine starts taking uh, Christmas sweaters starting in July, but they are a pretty easy sell once the holidays roll around, and I list them now. I don't wait. I know some people wait, but I just don't think that is smart. I just want to get it up, and then if someone wants to buy it in July and get ready for Christmas, you know, great for them. Okay, this next one is a uh, button front, button up front, buttons on the front, Carol Little Dress. And now Carol Little was popular in the 80s and the 90s and I have found that her stuff is really easy to sell because people are nostalgic about it and they miss it and they want to replace their favorite items. So I don't know if it has an occult following but it definitely does have a following and I just thought this was a really pretty print and I did like the cut. It's going to look really cute once I get it washed and I just think it was pretty beautiful. Um, a lot of Carol Little stuff that I'll find it's very uh, matronly and I thought this was a cool piece because it is a little younger so I picked it up because of that reason in my area I do find a lot of like Mexican style dresses and tops and I found two today and I threw one back just because I didn't feel like it was I don't know I just didn't really like it I didn't think it was well made but then I saw this one this is a top with this beautiful 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 rose embroidery I think this will sell really well I might even keep it myself I'm not gonna lie but I just saw it was stunning and I really like the colors and I think it is really well made like the embroidery and everything someone spent a lot of time on this by the stitching it it may be handmade I I can't say for sure I actually would say it's handmade because you could see the stitching here The stitching here is very clearly by hand. So someone made this and it's really nice. Okay, so 
this was like I was about to go home and I was like let me just go look why I should just look I should just look at everything and I found these really funny Levi's 501 jeans with the button fly but this is the top it has this leopard print detail on both on one front pocket and then it has this funny leopard print detail on the bottom so definitely someone got very y2k on us and made these jeans this way they are made in the usa so they're vintage and they're embellished so i just i, I couldn't leave them behind they're in pretty good shape too and i, I love the button fly i always love the button fly for levi's and especially vintage ones and especially 501s that's one of my favorite things to find is vintage 501s now i do come across a ton of ann taylor when i thrift and i kind of have to check myself because ann taylor used to be a really cool brand and now i feel like they are so fast fashion and it's not as well made today that i can't just buy stuff because it's ann taylor one because i don't always like it and two i just don't think the quality is that great but i found this halter top which is definitely like early 2000s and Taylor. So it's a halter top and then it wraps around. And I just thought it was so cute and so charming and I love this pattern. I think this is gonna be so great. It might, it might be one thing I keep for myself. I like to keep some things for myself or like ro th rotate things out of my wardrobe and then sell them. But I just really thought this was really, really, really pretty. Okay, so I picked these, uh, what brand are these? Oh. H&M Conscious Collection. I don't really sell a ton of H&M because for me, honestly, it doesn't really sell that well. But I like these jeans for a few reasons. One, they're button fly, so I thought that was pretty cool. They're the Conscious Collection, which I don't know if H&M still does, but I do remember it being quite popular. And it has a raw hem. Now, I don't know if this was cut or if it came like that. Actually, it looks like it was manufactured that way, I think. I'm pretty sure it was manufactured that way. So I thought it hit like all the buttons about what's cool right now like the boot cut with the raw hem like that's pretty in and it was a size 10 so bigger sizes tend to sell better for me at least and I, I like the wash on them so it's just a cool find these jeans were so funny oh my god they're called lawman western jeans i don't know if they're vintage i've never seen this brand before it doesn't mean in Hong Kong, so that means it was most likely in the 90s. I just thought they were so funny. I just couldn't pass them up. And they're just a basic, like, bootleg straight jean. Now, Talbot's is another brand, kind of what I was saying earlier about Ann Taylor. Like, I can't just buy it because it's a name that people know because it's not always great. And Talbot's is one of those other brands that kind of falls in that category. But I found this vest. And this vest is so fun. It has like this horseback riding print. I saw one, this hits a few things for me. One, it's a, a name people like. Two, it's a cut that's pretty cool. Vests are back. 90s are back. And three, it has an audience, horse people. And it has dogs on it, so dog people. And I kind of really love that. And it's going to make it easier to sell, I hope. So I picked up these jeans. They're cabby jeans. Cabby, I haven't sold too much from them. I do find it quite often, but... To be honest, it doesn't usually excite me all that much, but I did like these jeans because they have like a retro 70s vibe to them and they're flare. And that's what's in right now is like flare and like boot cut. No one's really wearing skinny jeans, but I just like the wash on these. I like the pockets. I like the fit. Uh, I like the name. So that's why I picked that up. So this was another one I kind of found on my way out. It's a Nicole Miller Artil Artillier. So that means, I don't know what that means exactly but I think it means it's like more higher end within the Nicole Miller line it has this really fancy tag on it some Nicole Miller stuff is very like mm, not super well made but I did like that this was higher end I like the high neckline I like the cut of it I just think it's really pretty I think it will sell well I like the exposed zipper it has like a lot of keywords when I find stuff I always try to think in terms of keywords, like one, Nicole Miller, two, Artelier, three, designer, like it's sheer, it has a high neckline, it has like all these things that I think are, you know, really cool. It has an exposed zipper, like those are the things that I would list in the title. Next, I found this really fun dress shirt and it has like fruit print on it. And this really reminded me of like Clarissa Explains It All. It has like different fruits. I just thought it was really fun. This one definitely needs a good wash. But this is a Leslie Faye. Very popular in the 80s and 90s. 
what is that? A toucan? A bird print of some sort? And I just thought this was really funny when I saw it. I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> Someone probably wore this knot, ironically. But I just thought it was funny. It's a great fit. Um, it's a great print. It's a brand people know. It's like a lot of keywords, sequin jewels, birds, blah, blah, blah. Next, I picked up an item maybe you wouldn't expect to be in here. But I picked up this old navy dress. It's an A-line, what do they call it? Kind of almost indigo dye. Uh, print and I really liked it for a few reasons one is it's an extra large and I find old navy sizes that are bigger um, do well I like the print on it I think it will sell pretty fast and it was in really good condition and I I just liked it just because something is a mall brand doesn't mean you can't make money on it doesn't mean people won't buy it I just thought it was really cute and it was better made than um, some other old navy items that I've found in the past yeah so I just like that one next one is kind of the same style as the black and red top I showed earlier. This is a vintage kind of tunic top and it has really nice embroidery at the neckline. And I do think again that this is most likely handmade. Yeah, again, you can see at the bottom that some of the hem is raw and then some is very clearly like probably hand done. So I definitely think this is from the 70s. I think it's probably handmade and I think it is awesome. Next, what I found was um, Citizens of Humanity. I think these are boot cut jeans. Yeah, boot cut jeans. I like the wash. They are a little worn, but since they are Citizens of Humanity, I bought them. The hem is raw. Let's see if they cut it or someone. The I don't know if this was, I think it was done by the manufacturer, but I want to look up to see like if this style came in a raw hem. I don't know for sure. But I like the wash, I like the cut, I like the name. So it hit a few buttons for me. I got this scarf and for a really long time I was selling a lot of scarves and it kind of was driving me crazy and I always got returns for them. And one of the things I struggle with with scarves is that like people would be unhappy they would say like oh the scarf had way more wear than you said and this and that so the condition of a scarf can be really subjective like if it's a scarf that's supposed to look like it's a little more worn someone might get that and be like this isn't very good condition so so i kind of scaled back on selling scarves and oh hello captain i kind of scaled back on selling scarves because they were just kind of giving me the most grief. So now I only buy them if they're really nice and have a name. I like that that one had like a theme, like it was themed for Rome and also it had a tag and it was in pretty good shape. Cap, what are you doing? He's just sad he's not getting any attention. You said you are not getting enough attention. All right, baby, go play. All right. Now, the last item I want to show you before I dive into the stuff that I'm gonna keep from me is this chambray Lizwear shirt. It's a button down short sleeve shirt. And I wasn't too crazy about the cut, but Lizwear kind of does have a cult following and it usually sells pretty fast. So uh, that's why I picked this up because it's always a really great sell for me. I don't really like the Claiborne line as much, but the Lizwear was, I, I think, like I'm not 100% certain about this, but I think it was targeted at like younger people in the 90s. So it was like stuff your sister would have worn and not your mom, whereas the Claiborne stuff was like stuff your mom would have worn in the 90s. So anyway, that's why I picked that one up. And now I'm gonna get into what I got for me. Aside from the stuff I said, I might keep this for myself. So first I got this Tommy Bahama bathing suit. And I'm pretty sure it was made in the 90s because it's made in the USA. I just thought it was super cute. I'm really into one pieces right now. Hi mom life. Just kidding, I'm not actually a mom, but I am a dog mom. And um, I just thought it was really cute and I like the print and it's like pretty clean so it's almost like new. Um, I just really liked it so I got this one for me. Next, uh, so none of my jeans really fit right now I guess because I'm just like losing so much weight. I'm just kidding. I don't know why. They just wear out really easy the ones that I have to wear to work. So I got this pair of skinny jeans from Lucky Brand and I don't know if they're going to fit. I kind of hope they will. They're long though so I'm going to have to like really roll them up. So I'm kind of crossing my fingers that these fit because I really like the wash. I think they're going to be good for work. Next, I think this will fit me, but I don't know. And I don't know if I'm going to like it when I put it on, but it's this Bodycon ruched cap dress by Cache. And I just thought it was really cute. I think it's really sexy. 
Um, it does have like this beading on it that's really nice. And it's just, I think it's going to look good on me. But I don't know for sure. I haven't tried any of these on yet. But I just think it's like a very nice piece to have on hand for like a wedding or a party or I don't know. Things that people do that are fancier than just going to the coffee shop. Next, I just got this basic gray tank by Altered State. I think they are only in Austin. I could be wrong, but I just like that it was kind of high-low, and I like the neckline, and I like that it's a little bit open back for the summertime. I thought that was really cute. Um, it's very light knit, and so yeah, I got that for me. The last thing I got for myself, I really, 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 really hope this fits, is this dress bag, again by Cache, but it's vintage and it is chocolate brown and it has a super high neckline i already kind of have a dress like this but not exactly and it's really really long and it has open slit in the front and i am really excited about this i think it's great for i will need to like get it hemmed probably if i'm going to wear it because even right now if i stand it's like touching the ground like a lot a lot and then if i go on tippy toes like i'd be wearing three inch heels it's still touching the ground so if I keep this, I'm definitely going to have to get it altered, but it's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. So anyway, my clothes are back into the pile of the, where they started. Yeah, I just wanted to share what I got because I think it's fun. All right, so if you have any questions about the Goodwill Outlet or thrifting or if you want to see a video on like best ways to shop the outlet, I've been shopping the outlet for like, like seven, eight years now. Um, I can make that video if you guys are interested, but... Thanks for watching, and if you like my content, please comment and subscribe and all that jazz, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!